I was reading about edible water bottles recently, and I wondered if they would ever actually replace real ones. I figured the best way to find out would be a taste test, but I'd have to make them first. For Popular Science, I'm Sophie Bushwick, and today we're going to be making edible water bottles. For this project, you'll need calcium lactate, sodium alginate, and water. First, I'm going to put one gram of sodium alginate into one cup of water. Then I blend it with a hand mixer. Now I'm going to put that aside to sit for about 15 minutes so we can get rid of all those air bubbles. Next up is a little easier. Put five grams of calcium lactate into four cups of water. And this one, I can just stir with a spoon, but you still want to make sure that everything gets thoroughly mixed together. Now let's bring the first bowl with the sodium alginate back into play. I'm going to take a scoop full with a rounded scoop, and I am going to gently place it into the second bowl with the calcium lactate. It looks like little jellyfish floating in there. I have to say this does not look very appetizing. Might be edible, but probably not tasty. Now we're going to feed these to my coworkers. Can I just take it with my hands? Mm -hmm. They're kind of fragile. Are so they alive? And I just oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> now. Um, can I get a drink of water? <laughs> <laughs> really gross. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. For popular science, I'm Sophie Bushwick. Oh, God, Sophie.